The Wii U has become home to a hefty number of 2D platformers ever since its launch back in 2012, and some of them are pretty top-notch. We've got Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Rayman Legends, Shovel Knight, New Super Mario Bros. U, Mighty Switch Force, and more, each featuring great gameplay and level design. So if a developer wants to take a stab at this particular genre, they better have something unique, memorable, and just all around well put together, as it otherwise might not shine too brightly against what's already been dished out. And sadly, Upper Byte's recently released Wii U eShop title Wooden Sensei just doesn't find itself leaving a lasting impression as a truly remarkable 2D platformer that all gamers must play. Wooden Sensei was actually a game I had a particular interest in as it was one of the titles I showed in the spotlight on months ago in a previous video about upcoming Wii U eShop titles, but now that I've been given the chance to play it, it turned out to be fairly underwhelming. Commandeering the role of Goro, the stubby little village chief, you set out on a quest for revenge because of a black goopy mechanical monster that comes to town and steals every bottle of the village's precious say, which may just remind you of a story similar to Nintendo's own super tough pink puff. On an adventure spanning a whopping 9 stages, yes you heard that right, 9 stages, you'll be slicing and dicing through black piles of goop with your handy dandy axe and cascading over deadly traps. But those axes are not a one trick pony, as to make things a little more interesting they double as a grappling hook to allow Goro to swing like a monkey over death dealing spikes and pits of no return. And if that wasn't enough, you can fling the grappling hook right into the ground to crush some baddies, all the while giving Goro some extra height to his jump, to reach those loftier platforms. Even though the grappling will require requires some time to get used to as you need to be at the right level to get a good swing, but it's pretty satisfying when you're able to pull off some impressive acrobatic maneuvers when you time button presses just right. And to try and keep things fresh, developer Upper Bite went out of their way to try and make all 9 stages feel distinct, in terms of the environments and even gameplay at times. For example, there's an underwater stage that has you piloting a submarine and firing out missiles, a silhouette type level that is reminiscent of something found in Donkey Kong Country, and probably best of all, a sequence where your axes are taken away and you have to rely on jumping alone to reach switch innovate sensors. Now, all of what I've gone over so far may sound great on paper, but the problem with Wooden Sensei is that most of the level designs are really just a standard affair, and don't push any boundaries to make it a standout title. Also, the combat can feel stale with some enemies you encounter feeling somewhat lifeless, but thankfully Goro has a small variety of attacks so you can set up strategies on how you want to fight specific enemies. But when it comes to the meat of Wooden Sensei, which is the platforming, it just doesn't seem to include all that much that is really mind-blowing. For example, there's the underwater submarine level included to help break up the monotony of being just another platforming stage, but it's pretty slow and simplified as you send out missiles to break some walls or blow up some monsters, but there really isn't any huge wow factor to draw you in. Matter of fact, it's probably one of the worst levels in the game. Maybe one of the game's problems is that Sensei takes more of a linear approach and doesn't really push you to explore your surroundings a whole lot to discover secret alcoves tucked away, and when you do find one, they're not all that exciting. Each stage does include a specific number of save bottles placed throughout for you to collect, but they seem to have little to no usefulness as they don't appear to unlock any extra content, other than an achievement for getting every single save bottle. Yippee. Plus, these white miniature bottles can be a little hard to see sometimes during gameplay, as they can have a tendency to blend into the background. Now, after I wrapped up Sensei's main campaign, I meandered over to the time attack mode, which comes packing with over triple the number of stages found in the main game, and I found these to be hands down the best part about Wooden Sensei. Upper Byte did a great job here, creating some short, interesting, and engaging level designs to test your platforming skills, and I just found them to be so much better than the main adventure. They're essentially just bite-sized pieces of goodness that will have you trying to get a bronze bronze, silver, or gold medal by completing the stages as quickly as possible and collecting all the bottles of say for extra points. Since Upper Byte tried to make each of the 9 levels feel distinctive, the game comes with a nice variety of colorful and detailed environments, ranging from a bright lakeside voyage accompanied by a sunrise and falling cherry blossoms to the moody silhouette level featuring a warm red sunset. Assisted by a soundtrack that swings from rocking tunes with Japanese flourishes to the more creepy atmospheric approach found in the underwater stage, so altogether the game's not really going to disappoint in these areas. as you track down the vile villain and bring home the bacon. Wooden Sensei isn't a game that is atrociously bad, it just doesn't find itself on the same caliber as other standout platformers already on the system. I do need to give Upper Byte props on the time attack mode though, as I found that to be totally engrossing as you play through creative, puzzling stages in quick spurs to earn that coveted gold medal, and unlock even more levels. Sensei's main story may be somewhat of a dud, but time attack is finally crafted, giving the game as a whole a boost in quality. So in all, the GamingPixelShow.com finds Wooden Sensei to be a so-so game. Game. And if you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And you can stay tuned for more video reviews, news videos, and that's on me episodes in the future. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!